third issue. Um, I would I would like to propose that, and I, I'm not sure it's been stated so far, but maybe it has, <clears throat> that he establish an open, honest. Um, culture, a culture of open, honest communication through his staff and down to the, all the way down to the lead officers. Something that uh, I think gets lost and, and, it, and it's a tough job. Establish that open, honest communication with the internals of the police department. Not just communicating the outside community. That is an excellent, and we have heard that theme, I think, as, as far as from, um, we've had from the police force themselves, from, we've had coffee talks with um, Sheriff Lori Smith, we, um, who have said, there's the external stuff, but we have, the next police chief will have to look internal, um, and especially when you talk about organizational development, which culture change, um, and it, 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 you, you definitely have to delve in. And, so, and so that's actually a really good... Not that it hasn't been done, mm -hmm. not that it's an accusation, but rather it's something that obviously yep. can't stand in front yeah. You know, um, we can always come back to um, questions. I want to go to the second question, and we'll probably see some of them blurred in, because it, that does move us technically for a second. Now. What experience and track record should the new police chief have? Things we've heard is, you know, the basic entry ticket into the dance, right? Uh, this police chief should have, um, you know, certain um, experiences with, should work with a similar population, of, similar to San Jose. We've heard the education. Um, we've heard um, the experience of working different, all levels of departments within, uh, within the police department. Uh, so those are some examples of experience, track records. We've also heard someone who needs to have strong experience working with uh, um, the, uh, um, the Police Officers Association. So, um, you know, those types of relationships and communication. Yes? Um, probably someone who's innovative because with our budget crisis, we need to do something who's able to still work in the community and be better our community, even on a low budget. Mm -hmm. So, that's a good one. That's a, thank you for um, giving the example, too. Because we, we are facing budgets and deficit again, and um, so we need someone to... Oh, you asked about experience? Yes, experience and driver. Uh, being able to adapt to new situations, because whoever comes in is going to be new to our situation. Mm -hmm. Our situation is going to be different than where we came from. And being able to adapt and lead and show the way through creativity and structure to, to rebuild. Because everything needs to be rebuilt, right? And wherever this person comes from, he's not going to come from the exact same stock. I would say, oh, I uh, I think the uh, candidate needs to have a lot of experience with the multicultural city. I mean, that probably almost goes without saying, but um, without saying it, we shouldn't go without saying. And this sort of is an extension of what uh, Mark was saying earlier. Uh, multilingual was good, but also um, experience with uh, diverse cultural communities, what the norms are, what the beliefs, holidays, you know, that kind of thing. Thanks for drilling down on that because that is something we heard. Just speaking with different languages is great, but also the experiences of working with diverse communities and, and cultures. So that is, a, that is a good one. I think the ability to be able to approach different groups, especially these um, minority groups or other different cultural groups or groups such as the, the youth, would be able to help a lot because this doesn't just cause this cause the job to become like a more of a curative job, but also a preventative job. This can, uh, this can prevent problems in the long run as well. 
So being able to approach the groups himself or herself mm -hmm. and address issues before they come up is something I think is very important. Yeah. Especially the extension of different issue areas. So. Yes. And then also somebody who was active in their past community, because as you said, we are a diverse community with a whole bunch of different holidays, events, and types of things. So it'd be nice to be able to see somebody who wants to come out to our community and be a participant in it. Uh, I would say it would be desirable for him to have verifiable experience <coughs> in uh, developing the methods of melding community inputs with the uh, actual uh, police department structure. In other words, developing our, our procedure, the experience of having developed procedures which enhance community inputs to, uh, to and cooperation with Maybe somebody flesh those words out better. Well, what, what I, what I, you know, and again, just being at different meetings and yeah. seeing how similar yeah. thoughts are connected is, um, people have said um, we're going to need someone who um, has who has experience and uh, a positive experience of working with like the IPA and uh, different, um, you know, different people who are different groups that. Uh, um, so that uh, may have input into how the police um, police department could improve, or or maybe some challenges. I think there's a, there's a there's a there's a culture there of developing or, or showing that he has some experience developing procedures that enhance the the cooperation between the police department and the community. Verifiable experience that he has. Has, has developed or worked with procedures that do this. Mm -hmm. okay. I think she should be female. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you know, uh, sometimes he keeps they use. He. No, you know, uh, I've been to I've been to enough meetings, and, and that's that's the, the pronoun is just general, and we we definitely have gotten that. Have female. It should be a. Yeah, we we had one of those in San Francisco. That's yeah. true. So, any other ones? We have, the other question is, and this one, it's similar, is what are the most important skills and characteristics that the new police chief should have? I think we went over that, didn't we? Personality. Personality. <laughs> he must be able to adapt to all situations. Whether or not he's had the experience in that particular area. Mm -hmm. Would consensus building be uh, something you're looking for? That is a good one. Consensus building, conflict resolution, those are definitely things that we, we have heard of. Um, Op openness and toughness. Openness and toughness. Okay. Humility. Humility. The ability to say, I don't know, but I'll find out and get back to it and then follow through on it. That's a, that, we definitely have heard that, and that's a, someone who's willing to say that, that's a good one. It doesn't matter if a, uh, whether it's a police chief.